So I'm, I'm David and I teach English Foundations at Higher Colleges of Technology in, in Sharjah. And I'm gonna be talking a little bit about um, how I see virtual reality as, as being um, viable for, for higher education. Uh, a little bit different than what I had originally planned for March, um, which was going to be face-to-face -face, and now we're still remote. So I've changed it a little bit um, I'm going to be concentrating on, on three different platforms that you can use virtual reality on your laptop or mobile device and not just have to have the um, headset like you might have seen in Ready Player One. Let's see. All right. So for those who might not know uh, about VR, um, it's just the use of computer technology to create a simulated immersive environment. Um, not exactly on the scale of the movie Ready Player One, but basically you are in an immersive environment um, when you can uh, interact with different objects, worlds and people. So you're not just um, looking at a little screen square like in Zoom, for example. Um, it's used for gaming, of course, remote-based work and training, um, like in the oil and gas industry, as, as Fatih said. Um, and a variety of other sectors um, and education as well. Uh, but my main interest um, with VR over the past years has been how to apply it to, to higher education. So for education or higher education, I mean, basically, you know, we're still, or again, delivering classes remotely. And, you know, even the best of Zoom classes can still have a, a degree of, of fatigue. So, rather than just be forced to look at a little square video, I've been looking for ways to try and make much more of a immersive um, environment, albeit virtually. Um, though Zoom might be best for lectures and you know short meetings, it's not really the most suitable for interactive, active um, kind of classrooms. Um, you know, it's not face-to-face. But with virtual reality, you can combine both the remote aspect and um, the feeling of face-to-face -face because of the immersive nature of it. So just a, a quick rundown. I got into VR back in 2018 um, with Steve Bamberry, who is, uh, used to be uh, the IT guru for Jess Schools in, in Dubai. And he's now an independent consultant um, here. Uh, he first brought by uh, a headset and, and got me into it and I haven't looked back since. Uh, I didn't have a, a virtual reality headset, um, so I used my, my laptop. A certain degree of immersiveness is lost, but overall you have the same um, experience and you can interact with, with people in, in whatever the environment that you're in. So I practiced, um, I networked with other people on LinkedIn and, and Twitter and experimented. Um, and I got to the point where I guess I could say I'm an enthusiastic amateur. I would by no means consider myself an expert. Um, I would like to work more on that if we can ever get into that for teaching. But fast forward to, to this year and we're still teaching remotely, yet everybody is already remote. So I've been thinking, what can we do to try and recapture some of that face-to-face -face feeling, um, but still do it remotely? But given the various constraints, um, I decided not to focus so much on the, the VR where you have the headset on your face, but rather computer-based um, VR, which you only need a laptop, whether that's a PC or Mac, or in some cases, even a mobile device. Um, constraints meaning it could be it's an added expense, um, whether you buy it in the States or the UK or from Virgin Megastore here in Dubai, which makes it more expensive. Um, some VR headsets um, are not standalone devices, but they require a, a, a tether to a, a gaming computer to, to work. So that's another expense. And everybody's already remote. So training would take more time. But everybody already has a laptop. Everybody already has a tablet or, or something if they're studying and working. So the learning curve is, is much less. If you can use a keyboard and a mouse and, and, and the Spacebar, you can use some of these platforms. Okay, so I've got three, three different slides, each of um, 
a different platform that I chose. Um, platforms which work with virtual reality headsets, but also work just fine with um, with just your laptop. And some of them are starting to come online with being able to access via a tablet. So maybe the teacher might need a laptop or, or headset, um, but the students would be able to access on a variety of devices. Um, and, and that will be happening more in the future. So if you want a, a copy of, of the show later, you can email me. I put the email at the end of the, the show again. Um, with the, the links to three of these platforms that I found to be um, quite promising. First one is called Engage. It's by Immersive VR uh, Education out of um, Ireland. And it's really fantastic. You can use it via um, a headset or just on your laptop. Um, it has any number of different um, environments which are password coded. So only the people you want to let in will get in yet you can still share all the same legacy media that we're using now. And we were using face-to-face, -face, PowerPoint, PDFs, video links, um, you name it, uh, Engage has it. And it's, it's one of the leaders in um, corporate training, uh, enterprise level use um, and higher education as well. Um, so I'm going to stop sharing this just for a moment so I can get the video to work. I have to go to the, the YouTube video. Okay. Stop sharing. Oh my God. Okay, can you hear that? Is the audio, okay, thank you, Bourne. All right, so let's play, it's only two minutes. No sound, David. Yeah. David, is the sound muted at your end? Because we can't hear, yeah? I don't know if there is. Sorry? We can't hear. No. Oh, I thought... I thought Bjorn yeah. put his yeah at the up. beginning at the beginning, but then it went quiet. Yeah. Oh, maybe. How about now? Still no, still not. Hmm. Well, okay. I'll I'll just play with the, the the video and then narrate. So as you see, these are virtual environments in which you know you have oh, your yeah, avatar. You, you see, you, your um, speaker is off. Maybe if you share the computer screen, maybe that will solve the problem. From the share screen uh, beforehand, there's a little icon on the left, not this one, the share screen. Ah, okay. Let's there's a little try. icon on the left. If you tick it, that will do the thing. That will do it. Do it. Share screen, share screen, share, screen. share, stop sharing, stop sharing, sharing and then again. share again. How about that? Energy out of maybe the third. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, thank okay. you, thank you. Thank you. And that will damage that space. To get started, you will need to set up your avatar. You can use our standard avatar builder shown here, or you can simply upload a single image of your face and let our machine learning avatar system build one for you. Hello. Why not try out our immersive effect system, allowing you to share 3D models and build locations with other users. Here you go. Hey, thanks. Engage can host up to 40 remote users in a single live session at the same time. You can write on the interactive. Engage has a whole host of media streaming and collaboration tools available. Full connectivity to OneDrive, Dropbox, Google Docs, YouTube and full desktop sharing are available. 
this example shows PowerPoint functionality. And here we see a 360 video being streamed directly from YouTube. Engage is the most powerful tool available today to create, share and publish immersive content without the need for specialist development skills. Using our pre-made assets and locations, you can quickly create content to engage the world. Okay, I think that's enough for that. Let me get back to PowerPoint. So I found it really amazing. We started doing these um, CPD and VR sessions with Steve Bambury, who started them back in, in 2017. And he runs his completely online um, VR sessions using this platform. So uh, it works on a laptop. It also works on Android devices at the moment. Um, they're having a bit of problem with Apple um, for the time being. But I found it really immersive. Um, I, it's hard to explain. We, we attended one um, person's wake um, funeral service in Engage and it felt as emotional as, as if you were there face to face. So I find this a very uh, powerful uh, type of platform, um, even without COVID, um, because it allows people to be teaching and learning from, from wherever. I mean, people from States, Dubai, uh, Australia, Kazakhstan, wherever you can imagine all in the same room and you feel like you're in the same room. Um, and so they have free and, and premium packages. So this is definitely um, one of my top three recommendations. Um, and it's aimed at professional enterprise level. So it's not just um, gaming feel to it. Uh, I definitely give this one two thumbs up. So that one's called Engage. So you can look for it on Twitter or LinkedIn under Engage VR or Immersive VR um, Education. So that's one. My number two choice, which I also have done a lot of um, PD sessions on, is called Altspace VR. And this one has changed a little bit since this picture was taken. Um, the avatar is a little bit more lifelike, uh, a bit more cartoonish, but um, people worldwide are using it both for personal enterprise and, and education use. Um, and again, you can use it on your computer or on a headset and you can share any, anything that you were sharing on Zoom or in a face-to-face -face classroom. Um, again, you see that the, the screen here says educators in VR. That's one group to follow if, if you're looking to find out more about that. Um, all like-minded people, anywhere from complete amateurs like me to um, the top professionals in, in the field. So this one um, can be used for a variety of educational reasons. And let me try this again. The city, welcome. Which city do you think this is? It's America, it like New York. New York. <laughs> New York. Could be America, could be New York, exactly good. And now, where am I standing? Paula, you already know the answer to this, but where am I standing? What do we call these? Uh, cross, cross line. Cross, cross line. Cross, crossing. Crossing, crossing. is one word, crossing. Or we say a zeb zebra, zebra crossing, crossing. Mm. zebra crossing. Do you know the the animal? It looks like a horse, but it's black and white yeah. stripes. Zebra. That's a zebra. Zebra so crossing. A zebra crossing. Mm. Follow me. Let's cross the road. The light is green. Now, I want you to. Okay, so it's 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 like that. It it's still a little bit cartoonish, but you still have that immersive feeling that you are you know in and with and, and interacting with with other people and not just staring at a, a little square um, video screen so we've attended a lot of um, teacher workshops in in that platform as well um, and it was used for educators in vr um, international uh, summit conference back in february so it, it's a solid uh, player to consider um, maybe not for you know higher education classes but definitely for teachers best practices group pds um it, it definitely has a role to play so this is my my number two pick 
number two recommendation. And my last uh, recommendation, and one that I've been trying to experiment with this semester with a, a small group of colleagues um, on a campus at Sharjah, is called Verbella. And this one is, is different to the other two in that it's a 24-7 uh, persistent uh, VR uh, campus environment with all the, the fixings of classrooms and offices, um, playing fields, hangout spots um, that you would have in a physical campus. And so let's... That one's hanging up a little bit. Welcome to Verbella, a 3D multi-user platform. Right, and innovate together. Unlike 2D web experiences, Verbella participants feel present with their peers, keeping them focused, immersed, and engaged. Participants are each represented by an avatar, giving them the autonomy to move about the campus and express themselves. Avatars are fully customizable, providing many options to represent diverse ethnicities and professional clothing options. Our environments are used for remote meetings, group training, conferences, and more. Campuses... Oh, it's hung up a little bit. All right, but you can see it's, it's a whole campus. It's, it's not just environments that you beam into, but it's a, it's a, a whole environment. So you, when you join the campus... are available 24-7. Now it shows. All right, let's stop that. Back to... So when, you, when you're in it, it's a whole campus. So it's not just limited to specific classrooms or, or rooms. You, you feel like you're in a, a real campus. And some major Fortune 500 companies are using this. There some international universities uh, globally are, are looking at using this platform of either using it partially um, or completely. Um, major companies, I mean, with thousands of employees, uh, thousands of students. So this is my number three, and, and in some ways, um, number one pick, uh, because it was really designed from the ground up to be used uh, on a computer or tablet, even though it can be also used uh, on a virtual reality headset device. Uh, and to give an idea of how it feels in real time, I've got the campus open here. So can you see um, the water side here where I'm sitting? Okay. So this is Verbella campus and there are anything from, you know, little spots where you can have small meetings without being disturbed from people walking by outside to uh, classrooms. In fact, let's go to classroom. Okay, wait, well, it transports. Like okay, tra classrooms, office rooms, conference rooms, big meeting rooms. Seems to be a little bit slow. Hmm. Well, that's unfortunate. Let's try this one then. Well, okay, so that seems to be hanging up, so let's walk around the campus. So you can land on the campus, you go to your classroom, in the classroom, then you can go to the teacher's office, you can go to the playing field, there's uh, conference rooms, theaters, you could have auditoriums, there's even speedboats and a soccer field. There's a complete campus, all in, all in one, everything all together. Um, this is not free, um, unfortunately. Um, well, I mean, this part is free, but to use some of the other features, it's not. But I mean, what, what tech is completely free? Where did I go to? So, Whatever we adopt, whether it's a textbook or something like Blackboard, there's always a cost involved. So this is a cost where I think it's completely worth it. Um, you know, but try it out first. Try out these these three uh, platforms. 
they're they're all free to try and they all have certain functionality at the free level. Um, and for those who are supervisors, you know, encourage your faculty and staff to explore the inner geek in them. You know, we're at the point where with so much Zoom fatigue or, you know, trying to find new ways to sort of recapture the old face-to-face, -face, you know, we need to think outside the box, if not without a box itself. So, you know, try out some of these, even if it doesn't go anywhere. You know, the more that you try something, hopefully at some point, somebody will catch on to and say, hey, I like that, and then go with it. Um, that's how a lot of adoption starts is that, you know, people are experimenting with something here and there and somebody higher up catches on to that and, and they like it and then they go with that. Um, so, you know, try it out. Try it out. The, try out the educators in VR. Um, it's a great group for those who are complete novices or complete experts in virtual reality whether you're in business or you're, you're teaching year five. Um, so if you want any more information about these three platforms or others, um, you can just shoot me an email. And I'm also on LinkedIn. I'm on Twitter, but LinkedIn is where I do all my, my really professional networking. Twitter tends to blend. <laughs> so better off on LinkedIn. So who has Maybe tried, think, think. yes? Yeah, uh, 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 we still have time, so, so if colleagues have questions, questions or, I don't know, there's some echo here. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay, okay. Yeah, my question yeah, my was, question was uh, massive echo, echo some of us, uh, Elizabeth, Elizabeth. I don't know where that comes, where that comes from. Oh, well, you, you can mute people, right? Yes, yes. Oh, every, oh okay. every, okay. You need to mute, you need everybody. To mute everybody. Anyway, I don't, has, has anybody here tried virtual reality at all? Whether it's PlayStation VR or like if you're in Dubai, there's that, um, VR park next to the cinema in Dubai Mall. Um, it, it's up and coming here, not only in the UAE, but also in Saudi and other MENA regions. HTC is a big player of um, hardware and, and, and software for, for virtual reality in, in the Gulf area. And there are a, a number of, you know, very professional um, organizations, local based um, in, in Dubai. So, David, can I, ask, can I ask you a question? Yes, sorry, I get to my volume down. Sorry. <laughs> yes. Hey, David, hi, hey, David, long, hi. Time, long time. Hey, I don't, know if, you, I don't know if you remember me. Oh, yes. How's everything oh, yeah. going there oh, yeah. in Bahrain? Yeah, it's not yeah, bad. It's not I bad. Think, I think so I think I'm going to so put, I'm the, gonna put the question on the chat. OK. Oh, medical uses, definitely. The health, the health industry, medical profession, doctors, nursing, um, it's tailor-made for that, whether you use a, a VR headset or not. Um, it, it, just like with, with airlines, that you can't always take an airplane out of service. You, you can't always have a patient with the right number of symptoms that you want your interns or your medical students to, to try out and if nothing else, just practice, you know, the bedside manner. I mean, if, if you've ever been in the hospital, who hasn't had, you know, the doctor come by with a, with a group of like 10 interns to, to all ask you the same questions? Well, you don't always have people with, with the right conditions, um, but you could, there's companies that have that tailor-made as scenarios for, for healthcare, um, definitely. Whether you're like your university there, which is, you know, heavy into, into that, or if you just want to, practice you know conversational english um in that area with backdrop and and other people play role-playing patient oh it's tailor-made for medical medical profession um higher education definitely a lot of institutions a lot of organizations are, are using that you know it doesn't replace face-to-face -face, but it definitely complements it and it saves money and it creates scenarios um 
that you might not find um, in in real life, or certainly not every day. Um, so yeah, definitely worth looking into um, for that. So can yeah, Elizabeth, on, Elizabeth, is on LinkedIn. Elizabeth is asking you to send her links. Uh, uh, yeah, we'll we'll catch up on on, on LinkedIn. Um, I'm always sharing um, links about that on, on LinkedIn with a couple of my colleagues um, from the college here who are in health sciences. Um, so anytime something comes up, you know, you're on, on my network, I think. So it should pop up for you as well. But definitely worth exploring. I'd, I'd love it if, if your university could, could get into to virtual reality. Oh, that would be a, a, real, a real big thing. And it's going to get bigger in the future. So jump on the train, you know, while it's leaving the station. Well, thank you very much, uh, David. No problem. Glad that to be was here. Thanks. Inspiring, inspiring and informative. And informative. <laughs> well, I hope this time next year we can be be using virtual reality for the conference itself. Wow! Wow! It'd be amazing! Be amazing! Oh, it's a great platform for conferences, even as Absolutely one as big are. as TESOL, even as big as TESOL. Definitely, so. definitely so. All the best. Thank All you. The best. Thank you. All right. Thanks much. Cheers. Bye. 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 Bye.